If you come and study natural sciences at Cambridge, you get the opportunity to study multiple scientific disciplines in the first two years. And then in the third year, you get to specialise. I did so in plant sciences. Cambridge is kind of known at the minute as being this epicentre of conservation because the David Attenborough building has loads of the headquarters of conservation organisations and we're able to work in that building, we have supervisions there, we're invited to the talks there where they get leading conservationists from around the world. I really can't like emphasise enough the power of a few very inspiring lecturers, it's definitely guided me on my path towards conservation science from quite a broad background. They've made every effort this year to make us feel included. There's so many socials, we're invited to everything. We get to go to postdocs research talks. At first you don't really realise how important in the field some of our lecturers are, but then you kind of get your textbook out afterwards to look up something and realise that's been written by the lecturer. That's pretty cool. Through academic support and college funding, I was able to go to the northwest of Madagascar to study giant tortoises for two months where I act as a conservation intern at a hotel there. This was a fantastic opportunity because I got to see some of the aspects of applied conservation science that we're taught in lectures actually happening in the field. For my final year project, I'm looking at stickleback fish. I'm looking at the social dynamics in the groups, so they actually steal food off each other. This year I'm focusing on leafcutter ants in the rainforest, and I'm studying their behaviour, whether or not they have lanes, the effects of communication in that, and how they recover from barrier placement. I work in the biochemistry of plants. I'm looking at proteins that attach sugars to pre-existing polysaccharides in the plant cell wall. I find it really exciting that plant cell walls have been associated with the development and growth of many plants. In the future, I would like to stay in science, go on to do a PhD, and then go on to run a lab myself someday. I think Cambridge has given me the best opportunity to do this. The teaching that you get and the day-to-day -day supervision within the lab is magnificent. We have personal interaction with people that are either eminent in the field or are studying in that field and that's a fantastic way to make sure that we understand everything that we're being taught. But then on top of that we have an amazing system of student representatives where we can talk to each other if we have any problems with the course and there is just generally a very large amount of support. The whole way the course is set up has enabled me to get to where I am now. If I hadn't done this degree, I'm not sure I'd have realised that ecosystems and evolution and conservation is really what I want to do. I love my course I'm doing at the moment. I think the science is so exciting. Everybody loves what they do, which is probably the best thing about it. People here are passionate about their subject and it's never the same thing.